Ball swing to Jefferson. Shepard. Ball extended in front of him. Good D. And Shepard equal the test. Knocked it down. Dance on him, Shepard. Wow, that took concentration, huh? I know I wrote a book, right? It's called Buy a Game, and it's free. Click the link down there. You got it. Stayallday.com. Today's move of the night, Iman Shumpert showing off the handle. He doesn't get many opportunities to do so on this team, but he did it on this particular move. Let's take a look at what Shumpert does here. He catches, tacks to the right, hard under the legs to the left, and then snatches it back under that left leg. So he goes under the leg, comes right back under the leg, all putting it together all into one move, kind of like a double cross over here, and then finishing with the pull-up jump shots. So we want to take a look at this in some slower motion to see exactly what he did to set this up. So as he passes off to the corner, he knows he's going to have a defender recovering. So you see how that defender there is recovering to get back to Shumpert. He uses that against him. So he immediately attacks in the direction the defender was coming from. The defender's already in recovery mode. Under the legs to the left. And then as he fakes as if, as if he's going to attack to his left, goes right back under the legs to the right. Creates a little bit of space for him. You see the guy on defense is still right there to put up a good challenge. But Shump, Shump has enough space and elevation that he can get that off despite the fact the defender played pretty good deed despite getting crossed up a little bit there. So let's take a look at it one more time in open space. So Shump attacks to the right because the defender's coming from that way. So make him have to stop his momentum and go back the other way. He seems like he's gonna attack to the left and he uses that with his legs still spread, his feet still spread, but he can go right back under that leg, under that left leg with the back through crossover, the snatch back as I like to call it, or the back through cross, whatever you wanna call it, is the exact same move, depending on what you wanna title it, if that helps you have an understanding of it. And then of course, after you do all these moves, you gotta make sure you finish it off by knocking you down the mid-range pull-up jumper. So let's take a look at it one more time and a little bit faster speed. Attacking to the right, under the leg to the left, Fake as if you're going to attack. Watch that offhand. You see how Shumpert uses his right offhand. When the ball's in his left hand, watch how he uses his right hand to fake as if he's trying to shield off that defender so he can attack to the left. Pay attention to his right hand. Here. See how that right hand comes over? That's part of the crossover every single time. Even if it's not the classic quote-unquote Allen Iverson type of crossover, you still use that offhand because that is unconsciously what the defender's looking for when you're going to attack to a certain size. Everyone at hoophandbook.com, I'll show you how to do this for real. Put it in your game instead of just watching it. Let's get to work on your game ASAP. DreAllDay.com.